hi welcome to personal development in video creation and on youtube today's video is all about how to cut your videos in s recorder that is using an s recorder app to edit your videos so in s recorder app we only have some of these few functions which i will be showing you now now you have to open up the hub then you move down to this section where we have the pencil area then you see edit your videos then you see edit your pictures merge and all of that so we'll be clicking on edit video so when whenever you click on that edit video you'll be allowed to input your video that is you have to select a particular video which you want to edit or work on so afterwards you select the particular one you want to work on so i'll be picking this particular video where i was doing an hijab tutorial so in this particular video i will be able to edit and show you things you can do with s recorder and also how to cut and trim using the app but mind you s recorder only allows you to trim or work on your app like a reel or probably you want to work on a video for your instagram but it doesn't really allow you to edit long videos for youtube use even though it has the features of you of youtube in it except if that particular video is like a youtube short then you'll be able to do it so look at this two pick clip i picked on as you can see the first one is kind of not okay because it was to rotate around so i had to rotate it back to normal so it will be good for viewer viewing so now at this other side you see remove ad well you can remove the ad only if you can pay that's the difference between s recorder and InShot. but on this app you just can't remove it except if you play and watch a video so my data is off now definitely i can remove the watermark or ad so we'll leave that and continue now this is the particular video i want to work on so the first one is kind of short so if i play it you see how it looks like so i can't really edit or show you any concept about it because there's nothing really i want to show you when i played it you can see i was just only arranging or setting my camera here so there's really nothing i want to show you here. then i removed the part this particular video because it will only teach you how to let's say i want to trim beginning from the beginning to the end so if i remove that area i'll be left with the middle so the middle is more or less like nothing really to say so let me delete that and now let's use this particular one where i already did the job video and i was showing you guys how it looks like then i was kind of moving back so that it, i will be i will be closer to the viewer so that the viewer can see the full view of what i'm teaching that was why i had to edit this particular video so now for me to edit this particular video x recorder only have trim sound copy music volume text and all of that so if you're watching the clip you see that at this point i was losing the hijab i want to start afresh so that's another area i need to work on because it will look unprofessional to i will upload that as a video on youtube you can see so now i move down to trim then i click on this area that's where the function of the trim is coming from you can only trim from the beginning to the end of your video you can really cut a video in between you know at this in this particular video i have already showed you where i was coming in like showing people how my hijab look like the hijab i want to teach them now at this particular point i was trying to move my chair backwards so i have to cut that area away so now because i'm using the trim i can't because trim is only meant for beginning and the end that is any mistake you make at the beginning of the video or at the end of the video that's when you can actually use trim but in a situation whereby you make mistake in the middle you can't really use the trim um uh, instrument let me put it that we can use the trim instrument so now let's see other features of the app and let's see how we can use it to 
work on the video so the last feature here is only crop and rotate i've used rotate earlier just to rotate the clip now in this crop area is where you can select the dimension of the video so i chose youtube style which is 16 by 9 because i want it to be a youtube size now i was able to trim in so that it will look full as you can see so now the video looks bolder than the way it was before i hope you guys are enjoying this if you do give this video a thumbs up don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and comment down below your thoughts i would love to hear from you and now continue back to the video we will be using this other items that is the text so if you want to put like a customize something to make the video you're like just to advertise something you can click on the test and make sure you make use of all this font to just design it and put colors and make it in the middle then you place it at the end of the video in whichever area you want it either at the top at the bottom at the side whichever way you want it to be like that's where you should place it in then you drag that is if you want it to be from the beginning of the video to the end you drag look at me placing it in on top of this particular area now i'm going to drag from the beginning to the end that that's where i want the word to be showing but if you don't want it to show from the beginning to the end then you are left to leaving it in this way but i want it to be from the beginning of the video to the end so that's why I'm taking my time in doing this so this is how to make use of the text area in the x recorder app so now let's go back to the other function of the x recorder app so i've tried my best to drag but it looks so lengthy i think this video is kind of much too okay well i'm done with that area now let's see what else you can do if you do not drag it's not like in shots where you can click at the edge and you click video to the end and like that but if you're making use of this one you just have to drag whatever item you have drag it now we have the music area yeah in this music area all you have to do is to select the plus sign and choose whatever music you want but mind you if you're using it for youtube make sure you're using a free and non-copyright song so that your video will be monetized anytime you get to that point but if you're using a copyright song have it at the back of your mind that your video won't be monetized when it gets to that point so now for the music it will select by itself from the area you want it to be from beginning to the end then if you don't want it that way you just have to edit copy edit copy so in this area suppose the app itself has split it will be easier for you to edit and cut a particular video in the middle but it always has split in the music area whereby you can split and or you copy a particular song where well, i will be glad if the maker of this video app would be able to add splits to their tools then this app would be preferably best to edit some kind of videos because it's user friendly and it's easy to navigate around but because of this limited um, offer that's why i prefer in short app so now let's go to um the other tool we can make use of in this app now i think i'm done with adding the music at least it's all over the places that is from the beginning of the video to the end of the video so now let's see we have the copy like if you want to duplicate the video you can duplicate it but i don't need it all i want is how to cut so if i want to increase the speed of the video i can also increase it as you can see i just did that but that's not what i want to do but if you want to do that in a particular video definitely you can do it too so now let's go back to this area where we have the trim so in this trim area we have two items trim and cut 
so i would have preferred if they had had splits so that split will be able to help us to split in the middle for any little little mistake well you can make use of this cut to be able to cut a particular thing but it's kind of hard like it's not really straightforward so you just have to be careful this place that is blank at the area where it will be showing why the area that look a little bit shady are the ones where it will cut away so you just have to be careful when you're cutting so you'll be able to drag the two areas to the particular point so the place that is shady is the way is the area that will leave once you click on the tick button at the top here so be careful and be mindful of how you want to cut so i would have preferred if they have made it like a straight line like a scissors for easy cutting instead of the way it is like this because this a one you can easily make mistake by cutting off something you don't really want to cut off but that's the way the app works so with this little tip and the updated extra color cotton video i did now i hope you'll be able to understand better how to make use of the x recorder i did this video because i just updated my x recorder and i'm trying to know what other things they've brought in and i realized nothing really has changed but these same things are what are still there but someone asked if i could do a tutorial of how to make use of it better so i decided to check out i hope this video is helpful thank you so much for watching till next time stay safe and remain blessed have a wonderful day by enjoying your development personally developing yourself personally helps a lot i hope you know that so if you want to save you click on the save icon at the top right button over there and you click on save so anything else no bye